Hello everyone, today I want to share with you what my homeschooling goals are for the month of September. Hi, my name is Susan Morales. If this is your first time here, I'm a homeschooling mom of a girl that is in second grade and a boy that is in first grade and it's my third year homeschooling. You can follow me on Instagram and please subscribe to this channel for more videos on homeschooling. I like to share the things that I'm learning along the way. A little background, we actually had started homeschooling like way early. I think it was around the end of June. Like I was so motivated to just maybe even just take one week off. I think we took one week off once we finished the previous homeschooling year. And I thought I want to start as soon as possible so that I can do four days a week of homeschooling and just take Friday off. And that's a real challenge in the state that I live in, in California, because we have to complete 180 days of homeschooling. So that's why we started very early, but life happened and unfortunately we had to take like a month off due to some things that happened in my extended family as well as some personal health issues I was experiencing. So it turned out that I really did need a month of rest <laughs> as well as my kids. So we are back and we've been homeschooling this month of August consistently. And I'm not really sure if the four day a week thing is even an option. We'll see how I could work something like that out maybe throughout the school year. But that's actually one of my goals for this month to go through the school year calendar again and just get an overview of what needs to happen where we can take some breaks it's always nice for us to take a break after like a quarter or a trimester having been completed we usually take a week so we'll see i was actually thinking about doing perhaps if it's not possible to do like a Friday off, then maybe we could do something more like on Fridays, homeschool looks a little different. And we just like do all the things that we enjoy doing. Like we have a subscription currently to um, one of those companies that they send you a box and it's kind of like a craft or a science experiment. So I was thinking that's what we're going to do today. We'll be doing that and then we're going to be reading our favorite books. Sometimes with our regular homeschooling schedule, we don't have time to read out of just books. Like we're reading um, a few books that I shared on a previous video on, on doing a unit study of bugs. So I'm planning on reading those books. But other things too, like going outside, um, observing nature, drawing nature. Uh, I want to think outside of the box and maybe that would be a good compromise for us since we weren't able to complete that one month of days. So we're kind of tight on time right now. So I want to figure out what our schedule needs to look like and see how we can go about doing Fridays for our homeschooling. Also, I want to get my paperwork in order. I need a printer. <laughs> the one that I had just died, I guess. So I need a printer so that I can print out the paperwork that the school that I homeschooled through, they require me to submit my paperwork uh, three times this school year. So I, I want to just prepare that in a special folder. I want to write in one of those sheets the days that I've already completed with the kids attendance and I want to start writing down like the curriculum that I'm using and things like that. Another thing that I want to do that I've wanted to do other school years but I just wasn't able to for whatever reason 
this year I really want to do it and I am starting to do it electives but in my home <laughs> so I looked into a typing class that I can have my kids take on our home computer and it's totally free I'll link it in the description of this video the kids love it and they picked up on it so quickly and it's really just only takes like 10 15 minutes and they're good and so they're practicing and becoming familiar with where the letters are on the keyboard i think i wanted to find a program that was more animated with cartoons and all of that but my kids they don't know that so they don't have something to compare it with so i'm just going to stick to this program that's free then later on if we want to pay for something more animated then we'll look into that later so typing computer is definitely our elective and so far it's the last thing that we do at the end of our homeschooling it's like a reward they look forward to it so that's one of our electives i think it's really important for them to learn to type another thing that i want to be more consistent with is teaching them to play an instrument so I want to teach my kids to play guitar this school year. I love playing guitar. I started to learn guitar around age 11, but my kids are younger, obviously, so we'll just take it a little slower at their pace. But whatever they manage to learn on guitar class this homeschool year will be progress. <laughs> Let me know if you would be interested in me creating a type of workshop where I make videos on how you can teach your child to play guitar. If I have enough people that would be interested in that uh, in the comments area, then maybe I can work towards creating something like that and make it available for you guys. So that will be our second elective. And it's just a matter of figuring out the schedule, how we wanna go ahead and do that. Maybe that could be our Friday thing. Yeah, I think we'll do that on Fridays. I have another goal. I've been wanting to have a morning basket routine. So I'm going to develop a basket for the mornings with activities each month. And I plan on sharing that with you on a separate video each month. I've already started to get some things for the month of September. I'm just waiting for a few more things, but as soon as I have all the things, I'll share it here on this channel. So I want my kids to get into the habit of doing these activities before school begins to kind of get them warmed up, relax, or maybe it could also be the basket of activities that they can go to when they need a break throughout the homeschool day. We'll see. I have to see what works best for my kids. And last but not least, I want to get more into the habit of serving like a platter of fruit for my kids. One of them loves fruit, but the other one doesn't. So I want us all to get into the habit of eating healthy because that's something that we definitely need to know how to do um, even as adults. So it's a good time to start. We need to focus on healthy eating. So those are my goals for this homeschool month of September coming up. Let me know what your goals are for this coming month. And if you haven't already, please like this video. It helps my channel be more visible for other people to watch these videos. And also please subscribe to my channel. I would love for you to join me on my journey of homeschooling and I would love to hear your journey as well. Mm -hmm.